Today I wanted to make a quick video about no spending in March and what I learned from it. So first of all, what is no spending in March? That's a challenge. I've decided to tr give it a try and pretty much what I did is not spending any money, not going shopping, no online shopping besides everything but essential. Vegetables, milk, gas, you have to, you know, obviously pay rent, utility, but stuff like that, but nothing else. I'm not going to buy any clothes, shoes, or even anything extra. And if I really, really still want to buy something, I made a list and think about it for the rest of the month. And if I still want it on April 1st, I allow myself to buy it. So, how did it go? It turned out it was not too difficult for me. Eventually, I just realized I have enough in my life. I don't need a lot of stuff and I don't have to be constantly shopping for the sake of shopping. So, what was the good things about no spending March? One, I saved a lot of money. I mean, a lot. Like before, like when I think, oh, you know what, I want something, something, something. And then I looked it up on eBay, Amazon, and I just clicked order. And then turned out I actually didn't even need it. But um, this time, I wrote a list. And I just think about it, oh, do I really need it? And a lot of items on the list actually did not make it till the end of the month. So it saved a lot of money and I was able to shop intentionally. And two, it saved a lot of time. I used to just go to the mall, I used to go to Goodwill and thrift stores to just buy time. I just go there, blouse things and think about, oh, I kind of want it or, oh, I didn't want, I didn't find anything I want. but. Like those 30 minutes, an hour, even a half day of just looking around to look for something to buy for shopping sake. It was a lot of waste of time. So it saved a lot of time this month and I really liked it. I had a lot of extra time for my training, for my study, and I had, I had a lot of time to watch movies so, and read books. So I quite enjoyed it. Sleep. Now I shop intentionally. Before I buy something, I stop and think, do I really need it? Don't I have something similar to it, to this one? Or maybe I don't even need it. Or, oh, it doesn't go with any of my items. So it looks nice on somebody else, but maybe it's not for me. Or, I made a habit of making a list when I go shopping. I go to the store, I grab stuff, I do checkout, and that's it. It saved time and it saved money because I just didn't blouse through the candy aisle and, oh, you know what, I want to buy this gummy, I want to buy this chocolate. No. When I really want chocolate, I add chocolate in my list, shopping list, for next week. And then I grab chocolate because it's in my list. But if everything not in my list. Okay, so is, was there any cons? Let's think. I actually can't think of anything like a negative effect, honest, honestly, about no spending March. I quite enjoyed it. I saved money. And, oh, did I have any screw up? Yes, I did. <laughs> I bought a bottle of vodka because it's spring break. I wanted to buy something like alcohol. Uh, alcohol. <laughs> I wanted to buy alcohol. And it happens to be on sale. And I thought, oh, you know what? I do not need this. It's not on my list. But why not? Because it was on sale, it was on like $12 and it even had a little coupon. <laughs> so I bought a bottle of vodka and I had a nice drink with my friend at home watching a movie. 
But um, in the end, it was still much, much, much cheaper than going out to eat or going out to watch a movie. Oh, and there's another thing. Number five, I became very creative. For example, I used to go to Redbox or we used to go to movie theater for entertainment. But I thought, okay, is there anything, any entertainment we can do for free? So I made a library card and I went to the library and I started to love a couple of, you know, let's follow a couple of movies for free. So it saved money and I don't have to own the item. It was only a month, but I want to keep a good habit of stop and think making a list in the future because I think this challenge taught me a lot of things and I actually started to appreciate with the stuff I already have and I don't have to keep buying new stuff to fill that empty void to just shop new thing because it excites me for five seconds maybe maybe five days after I purchase some thought of something that excitement doesn't last so long you know what I mean. So that was the update for no Mar no spending March. Anyway, I hope this video helped and gave you a good idea of how no spending March work. And I really highly recommend you to try give it a try at least a week, even a week, two weeks, and hopefully a month. And it will teach you a lot of lessons and save you a lot of money. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video, and if you like it, please give me a thumb up, and please subscribe, and hopefully I see you in the next video. Bye!